Alhamdulillah summa salatu wassalamu ala rasulillah wa ala ahlihi wa sahbihi ajma'in amma ba'd fa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Inshallah today we are going to be discussing about GMB Google My Business just as we have said in the previous video we mentioned the services we are going to be rendering for the businesses we are going to be working with and one of those services is Google My Business so why is Google My Business important so Google My Business is important because it's one of those things that will determine how well a business will rank on Google. So that when people are searching for the service you are rendering, or they are searching for a profession, or they are searching for companies that render a specific um, service, they will be able to find your business on Google and by that contact you and communicate with you. So if a person does not have their Google My Business profile optimized is going to make them lose a lot of business we know a lot of companies that all they do all their marketing efforts is just towards google my business and ensuring that they rank on top so now that we understand what google my business is all about we are now going to be going to setting it up so for you to be able to set up any google my business um, profile for any client you'll be needing a gmail account you'll also be needing a google my business account so that Google My Business account is going to be linked to that Gmail account. And lastly, you are going to be needing a domain email for that um, business. So we already know how to make a domain email. We've already done that when we're doing our freelance. We showed us how to use Zoho to make a domain email. So if you've forgotten how to do it, you can just go back to that, the videos regarding the setup and you will see the um, instructions on how to make your own domain email. Now, we're also, so as part of what we'll be doing for them is the professional email anyways. So we're going to be using the professional email for our Google My Business account setup. And the reason is that Google wants to verify, one of the ways Google verifies is using domain email. And that way is through postal code. But the reason why we don't encourage Nigerians to use postal code is because postal code takes time. Before they send it from the US to Nigeria, it's going to take two, three months. So, and you won't be able to do anything during that period. Unlike using the domain email, it just takes practically a few hours sometimes days but usually a few hours and you have your um, google my business set up so that's why since it's faster that's what we're going to be putting you through and that's what we're going to be setting up inshallah another way is true phone number but the phone number usually fails so and that's why we just decided to set with the domain email that is usually more reliable from experience we've set up a lot of google my business accounts with this method and it hasn't given us any issue so now that we understand that so if you don't have a gmail account you get your gmail account and the next thing is for us to go to uh, Google My Business. That is business.google.com and we'll start our setup. So I'm going to be putting you through that now. So for the purpose of this example, I'm going to be using the Moshud Adilaja .online, um account that we created, both for um, the business domain, which is the domain email, and actually for the website we're going to be using. So I'll just be setting him up as just a writer, a copywriter on google so but for your own case for your clients you would need to if it's plumbing service you need to actually get a domain for them for plumbing service if it's um, maybe a lawyer or a doctor or a dentist any of all those um professions you actually need to get a domain email for them to be able to finish up all of this process for them so i'm going to be going to my browser now and i'm going to show you how to get this done so we're going to be going to business dot google dot com so you can see so this is it business dot google dot com so this is where it's going to take us to so you click on manage now so it's going to ask you for your business name so i'm going to write mashud adelaja so if the name if the business name already exists you are going to see it here it's going to pop up here below but if it doesn't exist it will ask you to create a new business name so i'm going to just click on create a new business name and i'll click on continue so it's going to ask for the nature of the business so for you it will differ depending on who you are actually creating it for it could be a service business it could be a local store it could be an online um, retail store depending on what they actually render so in my case i'll just say a service business because is a copywriter i'm sure that Elijah is a copywriter so i'll just so it's now going to ask you for the business category now for business category this is one of the very very important aspects of setting up your google my business account so beforehand you would have done your little research on um what category this um their business is going to be when we get to the aspect of optimizing google accounts i'm going to be explaining that all in depth 
on what category you should choose for them in their business uh, when setting up their business profile. So because many of those you are likely to be working with are people that are likely to have an existence on Google. Since Google Map is where we are already picking them from, I'm just putting you through this setup just in case you have someone you want to set it up for from scratch and you need to do, um, input their business category. And if that's the case, you have to uh, you have to have done some research. So all of those research, I'm going to put you through all of that in the optimization stage. But for now, I'll just input the business category. But this is one of the key aspects that you need to pay attention to and ensure that you get it right from the beginning. So I'm just going to write writing service. So copywriting service. So I'm going to click on next. So now also this is very important. It's going to ask you for the areas you serve. Now, if it is a local business, like maybe a plumber, electrician, and likes, they have a locality they will serve. Do you understand? So, but if it's a service like maybe copywriting, do you understand? These services are just services that doesn't are not restricted by location. So you should know which one of them is more appropriate. So if, if you see that, okay, for example, a store, a store is actually restricted to a specific location. So you, sh you should just consider what works for what so. And it, this is going to also influence where would show, because if it's restricted by location, what will end up happening is when they search outside that location, they won't see them. So you need to understand the nature of how their business works so that you'll be able to input the, uh, if we'll be able to know whether to input the information that's with respect to location or not. So you click on next. So it's going to ask where we are based in. In our case, we are based in Nigeria. So we're going to input Nigeria. Okay, so this is Nigeria. We're going to input Nigeria. We click on next. So it's going to ask for our phone number and also our website. So we're going to input our phone number and our website. Our website is the website we have done before. So I'm going to input the phone number now. I'll pause the video and input the phone number. So we click on next. Click on continue. So now it's going to ask us to verify our mailing address. So we're going to input our address here. So it's going to ask us how we want to verify whether via a phone or via an email or via a business video. So usually I prefer email. I've tried using the phone a number of times and it doesn't usually give me the result I want. So I'm going to be using an email. So, but the email has to be a verified business domain email. So it has to be something at online. So in your case too, depending on the name of the business you are setting up for, you would have gotten a domain for them that bears maybe at um, whatever business, maybe it is ABC plumbing service, for example, you would have gotten maybe ABC plumbing service.com. You would have gotten it for them. You would have used Zoho to create an email with that business um, domain. So you now choose this option because this option is usually the fastest and easiest. So from experience, the phone code usually fails a lot. So, so that you won't face issues. So you just go for this. So you click on next. So for this one, I'm now going to input the email we set up. So for you to set it up, you just need to sign into your Zoho. So I'll just sign, I'll just go to my Zoho and I'll sign in and I'll input the information. So you just go to mail.zoho.com to sign in. So if it's been a while you signed into your Zoho mail, it might require you to sign in again. Do you understand? So you can just click on this sign in. Up here. So, so you input your email. That's the email you used to set it up. And you sign in. So you can remind me later. So I just wanted to confirm what I used to set it up. It is i at moshudadilaja.online. So, and that's what we're going to use for our setup. So let's let it log in. Okay. So I'm going to. So this is it. So I'm going to now go back, and I'll use i at moshudadilaja.online. Then I'll click on next. So they said that a five digit code would have been sent. So I'm going to need to input it. So I'll go back again to where my mail is and see if I have anything in my inbox. So I'm yet to receive the mail. So I'll hold on a bit. So once I have the mail, I'm going to input it. So 
So upon checking, I didn't see it in my inbox. But I noticed that under notification, it was there. See, under notification, you can see this is it here. But it didn't come into my inbox. So sometimes it might be the same for you. I've done it sometimes and it came in through the inbox. In fact, this is the first time I'm seeing it coming in through the notification. So I, if it doesn't come in from notification, you can also check newsletter. Do you understand? So for me, you just come. And also you can check the spam too, if you don't see it on time. So for me, it just came in through notification and I'll click on the notification. So this is the code. I'll copy it. Then I'll go back again to my setup and I'll paste it and I'll click on verify. So it says you are now verified. You can see how fast it is. Instead of you needing to wait for so long, you have your account verified instantly. So you click on next. So it's going to ask what days or hours you are open for business. Do you understand? So so you click on open so so for the business you need to choose the time that they are usually open on the days of the week if they are going to be open on sundays you input it so but many businesses are not usually open on sundays so let's just turn it off and for this one it can be if it's a business that is always alive, alive 24 hours you can just leave it as 24 hours but if it is not open for 24 hours you need to change it so let me just come here you can choose a time maybe they start their work at 8 a.m and they close by 6 p.m that's usually how it is for a lot of businesses so but depending on whatever business you are working with you need to know what works for them so you can either choose to make it a 24 hours period or maybe a specific time for me i want to set this account up to always be available 247 since i'm always available to render the service i'm rendering so i'm just going to turn it on now so and i'll click on 24 hours the same thing here I'll click on 24 hours all true for all days of the week such that anyone can contact me at any time i wouldn't mind so i'll click on next so for whatever business you are setting up you need to know which is appropriate for you so now you're going to need to write a business description so i'm going to just come to chat gpt to write a quick this chat gpt.com to write a quick business description So I'll pause the video and write the prompt and I'll continue. So I have my prompt ready. So this is the prompt. I want you to write a detailed Google My Business description for my business. Make it less than 750 characters. Here are the details of my business. So the details that would be needed, business name, the service, the location, the phone number, email, and website. So all of these, we have them. So we input them. The same thing will apply for your business. Now for this location, for most situations, it's not going to be worldwide. It's going to be specific. It is that area that you search for them in, that you want them to rank for, that you are going to use it for. So because this person, this service I'm rendering is actually a worldwide service. So, but most of those you are going to be working with are people that are actually local businesses. So you should bear that in mind and make sure that it's not worldwide. If it's maybe Kubwa, if it's maybe uh, Maitama, if it's in Abuja, or maybe in Lagos, Ikeja. So bear that in mind because most of them want to rank for their local area, not somewhere that is far off that will be hard for them to actually render those services. Whereby when they consider cost of transport, it will be worth it for them. So now that we understand this, we are now going to ask it to create the prompt. So I'm just going to ask it to enter. So I'll pause the video and once it's done, I will continue. So it's done. So you see, see it is very nice. So Moshe sure that the copywriting service delivers stop tier SEO copywriting solutions tailored for your business worldwide. Whether you need the company website content, engaging blog posts, or persuasive marketing copy, our expert team ensures your message stands out and ranks high. With a focus on quality and effectiveness, we hope enhance your online presence and drive results reach out to us today at this or this and visit our website at this for more information elevate your content with so this is fantastic so i'll just copy it and i'll go back to my profile and i'll paste it do you understand so now click on next it's in there's an invalid value let me remove the contact information. So it's likely to be because of it. Let me go back again to edit it. So I want it to be clear. So after every few stop, I want it to be there to be. So all I need to do is click on next. So what you just want to do is for this, add a photo, just leave it for now. When we get to the optimization video, I'm going to be explaining everything you need to do. So just skip it. 
so and for this is asking you to claim advertisement credit you can skip this too so you can also skip this and click on continue so it will, once our account is verified we're going to be able to make all necessary edits <clears throat> so this our account is not yet visible you can see it's not publicly visible so if you search for it you won't you won't find it so you can see your business is not visible to customers so it's not yet visible do you understand because google is actually still processing our ver verification you can see they said it may take up to five days so it will take a while for us to actually complete the verification process but for now we're just going to leave it for them to verify it the next thing is the optimization stage where we're going to set up everything required for our profile to rank high on google so i'm going to be explaining everything that is needed today and we're now going to optimize this same account this same profile that we have created from the start so i'm going to be explaining everything you need to understand there so alhamdulillah we are done with the setup now so the very next thing is the optimization now when it comes to optimization the account you're going to be optimizing can be one of three so it can be first the one you set up by yourself just the way we set it up uh now it's so it could be that you don't have set up the account for your customer or for your client that you're working with and the second one can be that the client actually set it up by themselves so this is another category so for the second category whereby the client set it up by themselves they will need to add you as a manager so i'm going to be showing you how that is done and i'm going to also be making a video a short video that you can also send to your clients showing them how they can actually add you as a manager so the last one is going to be the ones that google actually sets by themselves so google actually sets um, or creates um, profiles for people based on the information they have around people so it's possible that your client or customer you are talking to didn't actually set up the google my business profile themselves however it was google that set it up for them for those kind of accounts those accounts you need to be claimed so you are going to help them claim the account from google and when you claim it you'll be able to optimize the account so let me just show you how just briefly how this second one works that is if they wanted to add you to a as a manager so in this case they're going to set you to be an owner so you'll be able to have full or um, control so let's just go to our google my business so if they click on these three three dots if they click on business profile settings if they click on people and access under these people and access they can actually add more people so they can add you and just um input your information and you ask them to add you as an owner so that you'll be able to do a lot of things do you understand on their account that is necessary to be done so that is basically it once you input the email you can always just click invite so this is going to be the video that you're going to do and we'll send to them so it's not going to be more than 30 seconds to one minute so for the second category sorry for the third category and it's those people that are yet to have their account claims so let me show you how that would look like so let me just go to a new tab so for the third category i'm just going to search for maybe school ikorodu just for the purpose of example so let me go to more places so it will open in google my business okay so this is it so if you click on anyone that is yet to be claimed this this does not have the option let's click on this sorry about that let me look for one that has little reviews let me see Mm -hmm. so this is what i'm saying you can see on this business if you click on on this business what is going to do is, is that it's going to give you an option to apply to be a manager you can see look at you can see manage now you can see if you click on manage now you understand you'll be able to manage that business for them so you just go through the process step by step is is actually very straightforward it's a bit similar to what we have done before so and you'll be able to take charge of the business this is not our business so we want to use this to experiment or tamper with another person's business so but that's basically it. so it's going to be one of those three categories that i've shown you so once that is understood then we're now going to actually once we have access to the google my business profile then the next thing that we'll need to do is to actually start the proper optimization now for the optimization we're going to be needing two tools the first tool is gmb everywhere and the second tool is Plipper. So it's these two tools we are going to be using, and they are going to be Chrome extensions. So if you are using a phone for this, you can always use Kiwi browser that will allow you to install extensions of your, on your browser, and you too can also make benefits with this for wherever you are doing it from. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that now. So I'll go to my browser now.
so let's leave this uh, let me close this so so i'm going to search for gmb everywhere chrome extension so the one you want to go to is the one that has chrome web store so you click on it and you add it to chrome add to chrome add extension so so you can close this so the advantage of this is this you can see okay so it's done it's loading now so now what we want to do is we want to look for the primary keywords so these primary keywords are the ones that we are now going to be using when we want to optimize our google my business profile for whoever i want to optimize it for an example is the one we used the other time let's say um plumber garki for example so if you search for plumber garki now it's going to load it so now this one that has star is the primary keyword and that is plumber this star is what the primary keyword do you understand so the second new keyword that this person is using is mechanical engineer but the primary keyword is plumber you can see that is the major reason we need this um gmb everywhere it makes us know what primary keyword they are using and with that primary keyword we'll be able to know what primary keyword we two should use so that we'll be able to rank for it so how do we now use this primary keyword you can see all of them is plumber plumber that's their primary keyword this person has a primary keyword of plumber and he has bedroom remodeler engineer fountain contractor you can see but this one has just plumber this one has plumbing supply store that is his primary keyword yeah this one is a contractor so but basically you can see that those that are ranking the most what they are using is plumber so that is the essence of this tool the tool allows us to know the primary keyword anyone we are trying to rank for competition are using now the question is why is it that important the reason is important is because when we know what we are ranking for then we'll be able to use it in our first name second also we'll be able to use it in our title of our website and the header of our website so we need it to be in these three locations first of them is on the title of like when i mean what i mean by the first title is this name this deco mechanical plumbing it sh we should have that keyword there do you understand in the second place that you should have that keyword is is in your website the very first text in your website that's where you should have it then the third place that you want to have it is also in the header title of your website so i'm going to be showing you how to do all of these three now so what we're going to do is first for this our google my business here we can still edit it do you understand so once we come to our google my profile google profile what you want to do is click on edit profile so when you come to edit profile you can edit anything so in this case we have a Ad larger module Adela larger we have cop the business categories copywriting service and all of that so for us now if we want to edit it we have to look for the keyword we want to rank for in our case let me just write copywriter so it's going to show me what keywords they are ranking for this one is ranking for marketing agency this one is ranking for copywriting service this one is writing ranking for consultant this one is writing, ranking for copywriting service copywriting service copywriting service do you understand copywriting service so that's the major keyword all of them a lot of them are ranking for so and that's what we want to do we are going to rank for copywriting service since that's what most of them are ranking for so that's the first keyword so that copywriting service we want it to be in our title in the name of our business and also in the name as in the hero section the very first text that is going to be in our website now there are some businesses that for example do the ranking keywords are not a part of their business so how do you um work with that so what you will do is that after they write their name you can put dash and you now write that uh, keyword something that has to do with that keyword for example it can be um adelaide mushroom you now put a dash in front of it and you write best copywriting service you can see that best copywriting service if you are trying to rank them for a specific location maybe um the person is a plumber in ikeja you can make you can be best plumber ikeja do you understand or best plumber in ikeja after you write that name, maybe amz plumbing service dash best plumbers in ikeja or best plumber in ikeja so because we want it to have that plumber in it we will do the same thing for the title and we'll also do the same thing for the editing so in our case what we are working with is copywriting service so i'm going to be showing you how that is going to be done 
So I'll go back to the Google My Business, and for the business name, we are not going to change it to Adela Jamoshu, just as it is. We are now going to include a, a dash, and we'll write best copy writing service, and we save it. Do you understand? So for our description, we have copywriting service, but it's not it's not something that is that actually has a very strong determinant. So the major thing that determines it is actually this business name. So the second one is also the one that has to do with the website. So what are we going to do? We're going to go to our website now. So what we want to do is we want to go to sites because that's where our funnels are. So I'm from sites. We are now going to check out our funnel. So the funnel we want to use is the portfolio funnel because that's where we have Adelaide Moshu linked to it. So we'll click on that funnel. You can see this is Adelaide Moshu. So you can see that that's where it's linked to. So what we want to do is we want to edit it. So edit in new tab. So the first thing I told you we're going to edit is the title of the page. So how do we edit the title of the page? The title of the page is going to be edited under SEO. So we're going to come to this place, SEO metadata, we'll click on it, and we're going to edit it. So this Adela Jamo should now, we're going to edit it a bit. So we'll scroll down now. So instead of just Adela Jamo should, we'll now write dash dash best copy writing services so this is it so we have included it in our title now do you understand so the next thing we want to do is you can see it's already the best copywriting services so the next thing we want to do is we want to include it in our header so what we are going to do is we are going to need to save update this but for us to update it the update is not showing here so we need to reduce the zoom of this um, browser so if you come here under this zoom you can reduce it reduce it reduce it you can see now that there's update seo metadata but before it wasn't showing let me put it back you can see that it wasn't showing but if you look at it carefully you think that you see that there's something like a blue here so if you reduce it reduce it reduce it it's going to show so you now click on update seo if you don't update it like this, it's not going to update. Then we'll click on save. So when we save it, it has saved. However, it's not going to be live. For us to make it live, we have to publish it. So we'll click on publish. Do you understand? So when we publish it, it's not going to be live. So the best uh, uh, copywriting service is going to have been included. The second place we want to adjust is this header. Do you understand? So we can adjust this to... Let me uh, let me do. Can just add best the best copy writing service. We offer the best copywriting service. I'm looking for a way of adding it. We need the best copy So I can work with this and I'll just save it. So I will publish it. So I must emphasize the fact that this is just for the purpose of example of what we are doing now. So if it's going to be in your case, it's going to be what you're working on for maybe a business or what have you. And you need to edit just those things that will, and while being creative and not losing out on what they are trying to achieve with their headings. So this is basically what you're going to do with respect to using the keywords. So with that, Google will be able to, when Google checks your header and your title and also checks your name and it sees that everything matches and that there's consistency, what is going to happen is that you are going to rank higher. So now that that is done, we have done the very first thing that has to do with it. The second tool we are going to be using is Clipper. So for Clipper, we are going to also be installing it just the way we installed Google My Google Everywhere. So, JMB everywhere. So, we're going to come here and we're going to search for Plipa. 
Chrome extension. So this is it. So just as usual, always go for the one that has the Chrome Web Store here. So you click on it, and as usual, you add it to Chrome. The reason we need Plipper is for us to know the rating. That is the average rating that people in our niche have. That way, we'll be able to know the minimum amount of ratings we should target. If, for example, you're in a niche whereby the people there target, they usually have 100 ratings. It means for you to outperform them, you need a minimum of 100 and over 100 or 150 or do you understand 200 for you to be able to rank higher because ratings are one of those things that matters and that affects our Google rankings. So now we're going to go back again to Copywriter and let's, and let's refresh it now. Good. so it's now loading so you can see that the major category is copywriting service so we are still okay with that so it corresponds with what we've had before so and it's telling us the counts so like most of them are actually rank which is seven of them they are ranking for copywriting service so another thing that it gives us is the average review and that's one of the major reasons why here so the average review that they have is usually 4.93 so you two should target around that that's just target five do you understand? And the minimum rating that most people have is 4.5. You can see this. So they have between 4.5 and 4.93. So if you have five star reviews all through, you are going to beat them in this niche. And the average number of reviews they have is eight, while the maximum is 30. So it means that if you beat this maximum number of reviews, you will find yourself topping the charts. Do you understand? So this is the reason we use Plipper. So, so I'll be able to know that, okay, we need, these are the amount of five star reviews we need. So for me to be able to rank, for example, in copywriting, do you understand? All I need is maybe 50 reviews. So with 50 five-star reviews, I'll be able to rank as on top for copywriting or for copywriter. Do you understand what I'm saying? So the same thing will apply to you. So when you want to rank for maybe copywriting or copywriter, or in your case, plumber, for example, for a specific location for the business you are, you are working with, then you would need to know what the metrics are. Let's do the same thing for plumber garki. So we'll understand it better. Plumber garki. So for plumber garki, you can see the keyword is plumber. You can see the major keyword here is what plumber. You can see most of those that are using it, 16 of them use plumber. You can see. So you see that it's not even so, such a competitive market and it's going to be easy for you to actually outshine them. Okay. What's their reviews? The maximum review is 15, you can imagine. So it means that if you can give 20, 30, 40, 50 reviews, you will outshine all of these people. Do you understand? The average review is 7 and their maximum review is 5. Most of them have around 4.3 reviews. So if you can get like 30, 40, five-star reviews, you would have actually outshined all of these people here. So it gives you an understanding of what effort you need to put in place to be able to outshine or outperform those that are actually performing here. So when we want to optimize, there are four major things we want to have in mind. The very first one is the primary category, and we're going to be using GMB everywhere for that. I've explained how to get that. Then the second one is the keyword, so we should use the keyword in our business name, and I also explained how that is to be done. And I showed you how we can add it to our website third tool and also the headers. So the third one is ensuring that you have a consistent name. So the consistent name, for example, Adela Jamoshud is consistent on the website. It's consistent also the same one that we're also using on Google My Business. Do you understand? So we have to ensure that the name is consistent. Also, we should have our phone number consistent both on Google My Business and on our website, likewise our address. And the fourth one, which is the last of them, is that we ensure that we exceed the average ratings. And the way we can know the average ratings is through Clipper. In fact, I always recommend that you exceed the maximum rating. Because if you exceed the maximum rating, it means you are going to rank higher than the best. So the, for this one of adding phone number, I want to show you how you can add phone number to the website. So let's go back to our browser. So. If you scroll down here to the footer, you can just duplicate this copyright. You just duplicate it. So you can add phone number plus two, three, four. And you can also duplicate it again to add your address. So that is it so and with that you can have so you have your website optimized for your google my business so you save it
and then you publish so you save and you publish so when you publish it then it becomes live so if you want to edit your category i don't think i showed you how to do that so if you come here and you come to edit profile under business category you can edit the category do you understand so if you just click on edit you can actually just edit the category to another category and you can also add another category because depending on the niche you're working with there might be primary categories and secondary categories so if the niche has both primary and secondary categories you might want to add another category the very first category will be the primary category while subsequent ones will be the secondary category just as i've said the one with the star is the primary you can see that the plumber here is, is primary plumber here is primary how do we know because it has a star it has a star so but for secondary they will be the ones after this primary category and if you are looking out for categories, this is also another place where you can find categories. In fact, the one for uh, Plipar is even usually more, you can see. So that is basically it. So, and as for the keywords, that's going to be the word you are searching for here. In our case, the keyword we are using here is plumber, you can see. So, and that's what we want to be on our profile too. So the same thing with copywriting and copywriting services and the like. So, so once we understand all of this, we'll be able to optimize any Google profile to rank top. So this takes a while for it to rank, but by inshallah, once you're able to follow all of these steps and ensure you do it, then you're going to be getting results. So the question can come that how do you now get the link with which you are going to share for them to get reviews? Because how do we get reviews? The only way we get reviews is for them to send a link to their customers. So you send the link to their customers. So the link they will send to their customers will enable their customers to actually give them a review for their business. So this is how we do it. So as for the link, for us to get the link and setting up, setting it up and managing everything, that has to do with the managing side of things because that is the management um, side of Google My Business. So I'm going to be explaining that and everything that is entailed in a bit. So you'll be needing a Goya level account to be able to manage the Google My Business account. So I'm going to be showing you that in a bit. So if you come here, so sorry about that. Mm. So, so for the management side of things, the, the major thing you'll be working on when you're going to be helping them manage, and the management comes after the, the first month. So once you're done optimizing, you want to help them manage their Google profile so that they'll continuously get sales and they will improve and improve and improve. So if they want to hire you and continue paying you on a monthly basis, then that's where the management comes in. But if they just want to pay you once, you only optimize. Do you understand? If they want to pay you once, you only optimize. So the last one amongst all of them is how to exceed the average ratings. And basically what we mean by exceeding the average ratings is actually having customers to actually review their business. Customers they've worked with in the past to actually write a review for them and to commend them that they have actually rendered good services and give them um, good ratings. So how do you achieve this? So Google allows you to have to ask people to actually give you a review through a link. So you'll be needing that link and it's that link you're going to be sharing with the old or existing customers that your client has so that they'll be able to actually give you the good rating. So where do we get this link? I'm going to be showing you how to get it. For the account we just created today, because it's a new account and Google is yet to approve it, we can't ask for a review. So I'm going to be using an old account that a Google, an old Google My Business account that we've created before to just show you how it looks like and how you're going to get it. So this is the account we created um, some while ago when we we're doing the um, um, delivery course. So this account, if you check, if you compare it with the one we have now, you can see that this is live. This account is live. Unlike the other one that we did, let me show you. Uh, okay, this is it. You can see it's saying that what not publicly visible so it's not publicly visible and you can see that for that other one there's ask for review here there's no ask for review here you can see that there's no ask for review you can see see there's no ask you see this one ask ask for review but the one we just created does not have ask for review and it's because they are yet to approve this account so once they approve this account the ask for review button will show here so now that we understand that so what we can do is we can if once the account is approved do you understand you just click on the ask for review and you'll be able to see this link so it is this link you're going to copy and when you copy this link, you'll be able to share it with customers that want to give review. So let's say, for example, let me just open a new tab and just so that you see how it looks when they open it. So if, 
so you can see this is how it is okay it requires me to sign in okay i'm not signing to google here let me go to another place that i'm signing okay this, this should work so you can see so with this profile i can actually give a review for them and and they would see it so whoever is giving review can also add images and what have you so but basically this is this is how it will look for the customer once they click on the link and they can type in review and they can click on the amount of stars and they can actually type in the text and how they feel and you can also add photos or videos to show one or two things regarding what has been done so this is how it's going to look for the customers and when they want to give the review so now that this is understood what you need to do is understand the minimum number of people you need to reach out to and you now have them to actually give a review for the business so now that that is understood we'll now go to the second side of things which has to do with optima which has to do with management sorry so for management this is something that goes on month after month when we are done optimizing their google my business profile for the first month we are done with our job so if they want us to continually manage their google my business profile then they will need to pay us and we'll now help them manage it so what is involved in managing the google my business profile i'm going to be showing you everything now so what is involved when it comes to managing google my business profile is first you're going to be getting reviews from all their customers so whenever they work with any new customer you're going to actually contact that new customer and you're going to get reviews from them do you understand and you're also going to be get setting up a chat app on guai level for them because whenever they go on this plan you're going to need to get a guai level account for them and when you get the guai level account for them you'll be using guai level to help you manage all their messages so you'll be able to manage it easily and whenever they receive any negative or bad review there's a way you can suppress it with guai level another thing you would be doing is that with guai level you can actually reply to their reviews so whenever they make a review you can conveniently reply to their reviews and you can always post content frequently for on their behalf such that their profile will look active anybody that goes to their profile will know that ah they still posted something this month it means that these people are actively in business and the fact that you are always replying to the reviews from recent customers you'll see that they will see the dates that you have replied and they'll say okay this business is actually live and active and they'll feel uh at rest to want to work with you just as we've said the very first thing that people need is trust when they trust you they would want to stick with you for a very long time so now that that is understood and we understand all of what is entailed i'm going to be showing you how it works on the guai level side of things how you can link your google my business account with guai level and how you can actually set it up and do all that needs to be done so just as i've said the go the google my business account will be set up today is yet to be approved so we won't be able to use that google my business account rather i'm going to be using the second account which we set up before when we we're doing the delivery business course and we'll be linking it with our guai go i level account so let's go to that account now So this is the account so we'll go to the guy level link with this account so when you're on guy level where you want to go to is settings first so the idea is you have to first link that google account linked with your google my business to your guy level when you now link it then you now do the needful so the very first thing is go to settings under settings then we now go to integration so you scroll down and you look for integrations where can i scroll down scroll down okay so this is integrations so you click on integrations so it's going to show you the integration and you say sign in with google so when you want to do this a good thing to know is that the account that you have your the google google my business signed in that browser that you have it signed in is where you should use so that browser where you have your google my business signed in is where you should use on your guai level too so it's going to be very easy for you to sign in so once you click on it it will ask you to choose the google account i'm going to choose the google account and i'll click on continue and i'll scroll down and i'm going to allow and then it's going to initialize it so it's going to ask me to select the page so in our case the google my business page is the ibrahim express delivery just as i've said this is the one we used because it's active actually so the one we actually just created is not active so that's why so i you click on connect so once you connect it 
you are going to have your google account here you can see you can see that it's connected so then you're going to click on connect google my business So it's going to ask you to choose and just update that's all so if you have multiple google my business accounts linked to this ac one one single google account you're going to see you are going to have the choice to be able to choose and so you're going to have the choice to choose the ones you want to link to your guy level so it's still in progress so once it's done it would let us know so just let's leave it for a while for it to finish loading so once it's done loading the next thing we would want to do is to go to our reputation but let's hold on for it to finish loading i'll pause this video and once it's done loading okay so let me click on refresh okay alhamdulillah you can see that it's done loading so it has shown us that it is actually connected alhamdulillah so if you want to add any other pages you can click on manage pages maybe before you add four pages and you just added two out of them and you now want to add maybe two more so if you just click on manage pages to add those other two pages so now that this is done the very next thing we are going to do is we are going to click on go back and this time we are going to now go to reputation reputation so reputation is where we are going to be ending the google request so this um google my business account has actually received one review and that's why you can see this one review you can see it one review and if you scroll down you see the review you can see you can see the review you can see it so the same thing applies here so if you go to reviews you will see the actual review do you understand and you can actually reply to this this was the reply that we sent to the review, the person that gave us that review so i'm going to be showing you how to do all of this with google 11 then the next thing you want to do is you want to come to settings just to be sure so when you want to use google level the link you are going to be sending to them is this link that is here it's different from the link that i showed you earlier from the actual google account so that way you'll be able to manage everything right from google level so you just come here ensure that you have, clicked, you have clicked on this one here and you scroll down here and you copy this link you just copy it so this is the link you're going to send to anybody that you want them to give your page so if you if you have multiple pages you might need to select which page you want it to be so but ideally you should just have one guy level account for a customer that way it's going to save you from making mistakes especially when you are responding to their reviews and when you are dealing with their customers it won't be ideal for one customer to be seen and that person customers uh, customers details so it's not going to be ideal so it's a no no to think that you can actually manage multiple customers with one go a, a level account it's not professional and it's not something you should do because they will need to be accessing the data through the app so once that is understood we want to try out the functionality so we just let me just go to another tab where i have a google account okay so this was the one we tried before let me just cancel this and let me try it in a new tab so I paste it and I click on go. So you can see it has loaded it. So I'll give him a five star review again. I can say these guys are truly amazing. I couldn't ask for a better deliver service keep up with the good work so this is it so i can add images if i have any images join us and that's as a customer and i'll just post so once i post now from the guy level account we'll receive that as a message so if you come to guy level now and we go to conversations And you go to all under these conversations you come to all here you're going to see all conversations you've had in the past and it does includes the go the google my business review. so this was the first review received you can see it and see it came in as a conversation and this was the reply we had now these reviews if for example if someone gives us a low review maybe a four star review um usually three stars four star is even a bit manageable when it's a three star ah or a two star or a one star you can actually dispute the review when you dispute the review you 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 tell google that you don't agree with that review and they can actually bring that review down for you so that's the advantage of using google level you can easily dispute review with google level such that you'll be able to manage the integrity of your of your client that you're working for and they would always have 
more of five star reviews rather than low ranking reviews and you'll be able to eliminate the low ones as much as possible so this is how it works so let me just show you how it is so if you click on this build reviews so you're going to confirm your email and you're going to continue with every other necessary thing that you need to do so i just i don't want to do that because it's not something that is genuine so there's no point actually doing it so but you in your case if you have any low review you would want to dispute that review so let me refresh this because i don't think the recent one that we did has actually been received So we are here to receive it so maybe when we receive it but it's just going to be something like this so once it comes in we'll be able to respond to it i don't know why it's taking a while so but once it comes in we'll be able to respond to the review so one of the responsibilities just i've said is that you should reply to the reviews so another thing i want to explain to you is the fact that when you onboard your customers or your clients that's the clients that you're working with you will need to encourage them to actually use the app do you understand if they will be the one responding themselves maybe they don't want to pay you for the aspect of managing for them and they want to try to do it themselves in that case what is responsible for you to do is to actually give them access to the app so and the way you can do that is if you come down here and you come to mobile app if you click on mobile app here you'll be able to see a link you can send to them if, if they're ios users you'll be able to send the link to them and if they're android users you'll be able to send the link to them so this is it so you can just copy the link uh if it's ios and you can copy the link if it's android and once they go to it it is going to prompt them to actually install the goi level app and you give them their login details with which they will be able to access it you can see it's the goi level app you can see they can install it and all of these things i'm seeing all of the responses to um the google my business they can actually do it right from their app so now that that is understood let's go back to our slides so just as we have said, for the management side of things, there are four major things you're going to be addressing. So the very first one is getting reviews from your customers. I've shown you how you're going to do that via the link on Goi level. The second one is setting up the app. So I've shown you where you are going to copy, the link you're going to copy and send to them that will enable them to install the app. And you're going to send in their login details that will enable them to sign into the app. And that way, they will be able to access the app too. You two would also help them to actually manage their inquiries because it's one of the responsibilities you'll be doing so for inquiries you can't answer you can always contact them and ask them how you would rather, how they would rather prefer you to respond to some inquiries then you're also going to be replying to their reviews and lastly you're also going to be posting content frequently so you might have the question what kind of things will you be posting for them so and that's why we have this so what are the things you should be posting so the very first thing you're going to be posting are on-site videos or images so videos if for example if it's a plumber videos and images of them on site while they are working on site you you ask them to snap it you ask them to make videos and they should send it to you for any project they're working on then another one is that when they are preparing to go to site maybe when they are preparing their apprentices or when they themselves are actually preparing their machines and all of that when they are about to go to site they can make videos they can make images and they will send it to you and you are going to help them upload it on their google my business profile so informative videos and images are videos and images that are intended to educate the customers regarding the subject topic in our case plumbing so if it's another case then you will actually need to make videos and images for them based on that so ChatGPT can actually help you with this a lot of very nice and educative informative videos and images based on that so we're going to delve deeper into the aspect of content creation inshallah when we get to this the aspect of social media marketing so but for now or just on the basis so you just understand it so informative videos and images Another kind of info, um, content you can post are employee spotlights. So things that have to do with their employee, probably the best employee for the month or their employee while they are doing one or two jobs. You can actually do that and you can also post it on their profile. So you can also do before and after images. So before the project started and when, when the project was concluded. So you can do it side by side images and you can post it on their Google My Profile business. And the sixth but not the last is trending news or topics that has to do with the subject matter in our case plumbing so you can actually put post it on the google my business profile and the last one are customer feedback so those reviews we received on google my business we can actually redesign them in on canva and post them again on our google my business profile so all of these are actually creative ideas and ways you can actually post 
on your Google My Business profile. So this is what is entailed when we talk about Google My Business optimization and management. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it better understood and said, and he forgives us our shortcomings and he blesses our affairs and he blesses our efforts. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik, nash'adu an la ilaha illa ant, wa nastagfiruka, wa natubilik. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.